Hello everyone, welcome to this video lesson. In this lesson, we are going to solve a problem basing on one dimensional motion. Let me first describe what is given in the problem. It is given that there is a bullet. It loses 1 by 20th of its velocity or initial velocity in passing through a plank. So what it is doing is, bullet is moving with a velocity u. It passes through a plank. I don't know the thickness of the plank, let that is x. It comes out with a velocity v, but that v is u minus 1 by 20th of u. It has lost 1 by 20th of velocity, that is nothing but it's going to come out with a velocity of 90 u by 20. That means this bullet is definitely having some acceleration. It's not acceleration, it is retardation because its velocity is decreasing. I would like to calculate what is the retardation is by using a formula v square minus u square equal to 2as. v is 19u by 20 because 1 by 20th is last minus u square equal to 2a into x. So if I have taken u square as common then 19 square by 20 square minus 1 equal to 2a into x. That implies the acceleration or the retardation of that bullet is u square of 19 square minus 20 square by 20 square by 2x. I have got, I have just rearranged the terms. So the bullet is having this much of the retardation. Then he is asking, let's go back to the problem. He is saying in the problem that, okay, just a second. He is now saying in a problem that, how many such similar number of the planks are required to stop the bullet completely? I would like to redraw the diagram as what? The bullet is starting with a velocity u. Now it's not one plank. There are so many planks. All planks are identical. Having a thickness x, x and x like your similar case previous case like that there is n number of planks so that what is happening is finally bullet coming out with zero velocity it's going to stop so it is very clear if it has crossed one plank distance covered is x two planks 2x n planks nx I will again apply the same rule between the starting and the ending point. Same formula. V square minus U square is 2AS. Then V square is 0. Starting right from the beginning, I am calculating U square 2. But I already calculated the value of uh, A. I will substitute this value. A is u square 19 square minus 20 square by 20 square and 1 by 2x this is all the value of the a and s yes is there there is n number of the planks each of thickness x so the total distance it covers is nothing but equal to nx so if i simplify the terms what I can cancel? X and X can be cancelled. 2 and 2 also can be cancelled. Right? X and X can be cancelled. And 2 and 2 can be cancelled. So what is remaining? Minus U square equal to U square of 19 square minus 20 square A square minus B square as I will write that as 
a plus b and a minus b 19 plus 20 and 90 minus 20 by 20 square into n so this u square and u square also can be cancelled that implies minus 1 equal to 19 plus 20 39 19 minus 20 minus 1 by 20 square 400 into n so i can say this minus and this minus also gets cancelled ultimately n is equal to 400 by 39 if you calculate i'll be getting an answer of 10 power 3. so the problem tells you that you need how many planks to stop this bullet completely is 10.3 planks but unfortunately it is given in the problem that all the planks that we are using is identical planks so there is no way that i can get a 0.3 plank so i will get either 10 planks next possibility that what i will get is 11 planks so what i have to say as 0.3 plank is not possible as per the problem he said i am only having full planks as per the problem I cannot use only 10 planks because it is still going to have some velocity. The total number of the planks required is total number of the planks required is 10. Instead of that point 0.3, I have to use a complete plank. So you need 11 identical planks to stop that bullet completely. That's it. Thank you for watching. Keep coming back for more and more video lessons.